Alright guys, so welcome back. It is a Monday, so we have a tick. We have a new tick on uh, the Caprol Macro Index. This thing is probably the chart you want to be looking at when it comes to Bitcoin uh, and whether Bitcoin is going to go absolutely monumentally parabolic towards the upside, okay? Uh, and we have some good news. We have some very good news here because it is currently in recovery, which is a fantastic sign. This is typically what happens before we go parabolic, before we get exponential curves towards the upside. I'm talking about 100, 200, 300 thousand dollar Bitcoin just for fun. All right, we can see here, we can see here this is a beautiful dark green. When this turns light green, that is the time. That is when we just bang it. Okay, so fantastic news there. Let's let, take a look at the rest of the market, starting with the news here. We can see that uh, obviously Telegram CEO or founder, sorry, got arrested uh, over the weekend or last week. And uh, yeah, typically not great for Bitcoin, uh, typically not great for Toncoin, uh, the, uh, the, the blockchain linked to Telegram, right? But besides that, uh, we are seeing uh, Bitcoin. It did surge, obviously, on Friday after, um, what, what's, what's his face? Kennedy, Kennedy boy, all right? Kennedy uh, backed Trump, all right? So that's fantastic. That's actually something that's super, super bullish because he is pro Bitcoin. He does have a lot of his wealth in Bitcoin and that is something that is uh, ridiculously bullish, right? If we are looking at the whole market in general, okay, we have had a bit of a sideways weekend after the Friday pump uh, and now we are just seeing a mixed bag of results here across all of the altcoins. Dogs, a fairly new coin, one of the biggest airdrops in history is down 7% you got to really expect it with the sale pressure from airdropping millions of people, okay? But uh, yeah, with the popularity, hopefully it does bounce back. Hopefully they break through to the mainstream and then absolutely bangs it from there. But I don't actually hold any dogs, just for full disclaimer. I think, uh, I think I'm going to wait a little bit on that one. If you are looking at fear and greed, we are back up to a 55. This is really, really high. Uh, it seems the market just flipped bullish rapidly uh, after Friday. And uh, yeah, this is actually quite dangerous. So I would be expecting a little bit more sideways here over the coming days. But overall, based on this, uh, yeah, if this can co come back down to say like a 40 or a high 30s, uh, this is something that's a bit better for a sustainable uptrend. Otherwise, uh, yes, the greed comes in, the market makers sell, they liquidate everyone. And the bear market starts. Well, not the bear market, but I mean, yeah, it could get pretty bad out here. If we are looking at ETFs here, guys, we can see uh, we had 252 million inflows on Friday. That is fantastic. GBTC, though, still dirty. They're not they're not doing well here. They're just selling. I don't know why. Why are they doing this? Everyone else is in. GBTC need to wake up, bruv. All right, they do. Uh, but yeah, 252 mil is mega bullish. It means the institutions are back involved. It means they are uh, confident in Bitcoin's future. And that is obviously uh, from the Kennedy news and uh, obviously expecting the bull market next year if or when Trump gets elected, okay? Uh, besides that, if we are looking at uh, the on-chain a little bit, a little bit more technical here, so uh, just bear in mind and, 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 oh, okay, yeah. So just looking at this, looking at this, a little bit more technical. So just, uh, yeah, just take this with a, a grain of salt. If you don't understand this, all it is is the amount of money miners, so the Bitcoin miners are spending on mining Bitcoin, okay? Uh, and typically when this goes up, Bitcoin goes up too, all right, long term anyway. So we can see here, we can see here, it did actually have a fantastic up, uptick last week. Okay, breaking any kind of resistance here uh, on the diagonal downside. So yeah, a good start, but a long way to go before it is a maximum bullish here and starting to point towards the upside on something like a weekly, right? So when we do get that upwards trend here, it is directly correlated with Bitcoin's tops and uh, bull, bull markets. So yeah, when this can point towards the upside, fantastic stuff here for Bitcoin. And it will be the time to absolutely bang in along. Okay, uh, if we are looking on the three day of the liquidation heat map here, we can see lots and lots of orders to both sides. The market makers did just swipe up here. Uh, and uh, yes, they did make billions of dollars. Okay, so we can see here. Yes, uh, yeah, a bit of a downtrend we've had over the last day, uh, but still inside this range for now. This can obviously come a lot lower, but overall expecting a bit of a sideways range, uh, kind of between the, the super low 60s and the mid 60s here. Uh, so this could actually come all the way down to 60k again so just be aware of that but uh yes we'll get to that when we get to the charts in a minute we did just put out the uh the free signals here uh, 
for Bitcoin, as you can see here on the Patreon, completely free to follow. Okay, all you got to do is go in there, press follow, no credit card, no details, just email, press follow. All right, easy. You get one free signal every single weekday, okay? This is the smart thing to do, okay? This is the trades that I look for every day. If you want this, just press follow, all right? Let's jump in to the charts. Okay, it is chart time and we can see that the move that we were targeting in the last video did play out phenomenally, okay? Phenomenally, fantastically, I will say, okay? So on the daily here, you can see we blasted through nice 3% towards the upside. I did get this trade and it was a very, very nice one, all right? Uh, but uh, yes, there are other trades we can target here, uh, particularly if we can confirm this high coming through. So let's just skirt that out the way. This measure move is now done, so we can actually get rid of that too. And we can get rid of uh, this one as well, right? So if we can confirm this high coming through, through here guys on the daily which essentially just needs us to have a red candle here uh, really it would be better if we close today pretty much under 63.5 to confirm this high but uh, yes uh, any kind of red candle here is good enough for me anyway uh, for a high to come in uh, and we will say with this thing yes uh, a nice little wedge structure forming uh, and if we can confirm this is a high then we will have a brilliant beautiful just bombastic. I don't know what bombastic even means. But uh, yeah, a, a fantastic, a fantastic um, pump towards the upside or measure move towards the upside here. Uh, I will be waiting to get over this trend line. Of course, this is an important trend line. So if we do get over it, fantastic stuff. But we're looking for that trade from about 66.8 all the way up to uh, about 69.5 or just under 70k which is the stronger trend line here this yellow trend line so that's fantastic that is the next trade we're looking for if we can get it similar to this one good stuff uh, and then besides that if we do want to target a downwards move as well i know i know it's super bullish right now we shouldn't be talking bearish but we are neutral here on the channel we are non-biased and we will be targeting trades to both sides because that's how you make money okay uh, so what we will say here is uh yes we will uh, we will be looking to essentially break underneath this trend line a uh, super interesting time here because we don't actually have a low to break yet on the daily but uh, we can use something like this candle body uh, beginnings or low here uh, coming through so uh, yeah looking for a trade roughly from about uh, let's have a look here 60k we'll call it yeah 60k just to be safe uh, and then yeah trade that down to about 58 too uh, if we do find that so that'll be a fantastic one if we can get it uh, and yes the market is getting a lot easier to trade right now with these last two moves so let's just see if that continues let's just see if the money keeps flowing and let's just see if we can get this beautiful v-shaped recovery all right and if we do we have a massive 11 percent trade once we break over about 71.5 all the way up to about 80k okay obviously taking profit at the all-time high of course right but uh, yeah that would be the next big big kind of weekly swing trade we'll be targeting in terms of in terms of of a big short towards the downside we're talking about a swan event crashing scenario uh, this is going to get quite tricky because uh yeah this move is getting smaller and smaller we don't really want to keep this trade uh, this short going underneath this super important structural trend line here so uh, yes the longer time goes on uh, then uh, the smaller this trade gets but it's not really a problem we'll find trades along the way but at the moment here guys it would be from around 49.1 all the way down to about 46.6 which is about four or five percent all right that's is the long term. Let's jump down to the midterm. Midterm right here, right now, we can see that we are targeting, we did just put this free signal in the Patreon, okay, but we are targeting a short here if we break underneath this four hour trend line. This is super important. If we can break it and we lose the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band at the same time, then there's a beautiful 1% trade here down to retest this little trend line of the trap zone we had before, right? That's around 61.4 uh, where that comes through, but uh, we will be looking more at this horizontal area here as you can see these highs coming through. Okay, so we'll be looking at that horizontal area for the retest uh, for taking profit on a short here if we can find it. Uh, if this does actually come down like so, um, and yes, let's, let's just say, let's say we move this up a little bit, right? If it is something a little bit more like this, then we will just be waiting to, to break wherever this low is, right? Uh, and obviously the higher that is, as long as it's underneath both the 15 minute and the trend line, then uh, yes, we can, uh, we can get a bigger trade from that. But as of right now, yeah, looking for about 1% if this does want to be an aggressive dump down anyway. All right. In terms of longs towards the upside here, guys, uh, it's it's not great. 
it's not great. We will need to get above 65.8 roughly, okay? So around this high here, if we can get above that and above all of these volume weighted ATR bands, which are clustered right now. But if we get above all of those, okay, and we maintain multiple four hour candles above them, right? Then uh, there is just a beautiful uptrend we can find here. We're talking a ridiculous trade, like 5% here up to these highs, okay? And literally just having your stop loss wherever this 60 minute or 15 minute volume weighted ATR bands are, okay? So if we do get into this zone, then uh, yeah, watching to see if we break below these uh, will be the criteria for closing that trade. Besides that, I would definitely be taking profit at any of these highs along the way up. Okay, that is the midterm. Let's jump down to the DGEN zone. DGEN zone, we did say about this trade here. Okay, that did come into fruition. Fantastic job. Hope you guys all made money out here. Good stuff. Now let's jump in uh, and see uh, what it kind of looks like here on the hourly. Okay, hourly incredibly volatile and uh, not too much structure to really go by, as you can see here. I mean, you could say something like this with the highs, but then you've got a trap zone here that's ridiculous. So again, uh, just looking to get above all of those volume based ATR bands before initiating any trades here. Um, and I know what you're going to say. I want a DJ and trade Hamilton. Where is it? Well, uh, what we're going to be looking for here is uh, potentially trading inside this range. So yes, uh, super risky, I will just say. Okay, super, super risky. But uh, if we can find a trade in this area, okay, up for about 0.6% inside this range, then that's applicable. Okay, incredibly risky though. Again, probably about 60% success rate in this trappy zone. But uh, as you can see here, testing this 55, um, 55 EMA here on the hourly, we could probably expect a bounce here anyway. So just going with momentum here, yeah, we'd be targeting somewhere around here, 64.1 for an entry all the way up to the top of the range here. But uh, yeah, just be very, very careful. Incredibly risky trade coming through. Okay, and again, 63K, similar to the mid midterm trade, 63K down uh, will be really what we'd be targeting here uh, for a short anyway. But again, very, very risky. So look, look to those higher time frames more than anything because uh, that's really uh, where the money is and that's where the swing trades are happening that are the most reliable out here all right uh, sorry for the less humorous video here today guys i've been super super busy in calls all day so uh yeah haven't had much time to make the videos but uh yeah signals are out and the video is now done so uh yeah have a fantastic one i will be sure to update you tomorrow with a bit more of an in-depth quality video that you're used to all right i'll see you guys very very soon cheers and uh, have a fantastic day. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think is going to happen with Bitcoin now. Cheers.